in this video we are going to create an amazing dust storm detailed photo effect using photoshop cs6 extended it will be super fun super detailed and super crazy so let's jump in photoshop hello welcome back everyone my name is Adnan Chaudhary from tasty tutorials and today we will create a dust storm uh, we have done a sandstorm but it was pretty much nice and this one is also brilliant because it have amazing detail and having some dust particles so let's start our work first of all let me show you what we can create using these actions so this is a simple image uh, create a selection around this and run this so this is your result this is actually not your result the actual result is very detailed let me just show you all the detail files so you could get more understand about this so let me just hide this and this is what we you uh, what you will get after running this action look at this amazing detail uh, let me just zoom it in and each and every particle looks amazing and uh, you can see that a little repetition in that so you can just turn off this this is not a big problem in that let's just go to this detail and let's just turn off this a little bit uh, let's just uh, randomness can we create so it could be easier for us to create randomness like this one this is also amazing but the bigger particles need bigger details so look at this and this is what uh, the result is and there are little color options in that let me just close these all and these are the color options violet sepia the amazing thing is that all the colors are with their related names like this is a black and white so we could get make it black and white you want to make it uh, dusty so look like, like uh, orange or you want to make it little violet orange and this one blue violet blue filter and these type of colors having some amazing details uh, in it look at this oh where it is this is the final and this is after applying this color options so this is what we can do in that same thing we will move to the next step and this image so this is a simple image creating selection and run this look at this fabulous result and uh, let me just close this one and this is what we can generate using these actions so again there are color options there are dust storm little detail you can just edit every detail in it uh, like this one hardness softness big particles small particles each and everything with details so let's move to the next step and this is what we are going today uh, to do today so simple bird image selection and running actions so hide this selection and look at this amazing detail like it is jumping from this jumping out from this water like it's a splash of water I, it looks gives a little water splash look i think so and uh, same thing particles color options all depends on your choice you can just apply uh, whatever you like to use color so delete this we will use this image creating selection is a little uh, uh, we can say that tricky thing but in this in these actions there is no trick there is no I mean, uh, we can say the difficult thing you just need to create a new layer no need to give it any name it will rename automatically so just need to go to brush select a soft brush or hard brush it all depends on you if you select hard brush it will create a edge selection so we'll go to soft brush it will could give a nice fading in your image so uh, size it up a little bit and change the color to blue or red or whatever you like to do we just need to may give it a little selection so like this one and this one great that's cool and this is what we can uh, select uh, this one and a little bit let me size it down and create there. this is this is done and now what we'll do is we'll simply just go to the actions file to load these actions so go to windows actions if you don't see that uh, go to actions 
it will show the sides so go to this uh, we can say that uh, icon and go to load actions so go back and this is the dust storm download these actions and there is only one file in that dust storm named so click on dust storm and click on load so when you will load this uh, file it will be look like this when you extract that it will be it will having a lots of options in that it means that there are lots of different styles for this particular image we will use down because we need to uh, dispersed it from the downside so we'll select down now there are three types down down soft and straight the down will be give a hard selection around your image and it will look creepy because this image is about a uh, sky background so that's why it will not suit this so go to down soft down soft will be create a soft selection and soft uh, we can say particles so it will look low mm, means it will give you a random selection so the particles may be dispersed uh, around this but this one is perfect for this image so straight it will be just go to straight and little bit random uh, particles so click on down straight and click on this uh, drop down menu and you will see that we don't need to go to purge so it will automatically purge in these actions so we just need to uh, run these actions and wait for the processes to complete its work but before running these actions let me just tell you a little instructions about this image so this image should be rgb and it should be in 8 bit so it will be work fine after that just go to this layer panel options and click on panel options so from here just uh, if this is unchecked just click on this check mark and it will be a option which is add copy to copy it layers and groups so make sure to do that click ok and go to image and let me just show you image size so this image is pretty much in 1920 by 1280 it means that it is above from 1000 pixels so keep in mind that it should be 1000 pixels and having a resolution of 72 pixels and if it is 300 pixels dpi it will be amazing okay so uh, for the time being i am going to use this 72 pixels per uh, inch uh, resolution so hit okay now time to run actions i hope you keep in mind these uh, instructions no need to rename these layers keep in mind if you rename this it will no problem but uh, leave this as layer one so keep in mind that if your background layer is not renamed like uh, like this one your na rare, layer, uh, rare name sorry your layer name is anyone like this layer names you want to make it a background layer so go to layers new layer and go to background from selected layer so it will be create a background name layer and maybe it, it will be locked so select any of these layers and go to actions and we have selected the down straight for uh, we can say that dust storm actions so click and the play button and wait for the process to complete its work So the process is complete and it, it was very quick so close this panel and what we can edit is that so let's just adjust this according to our needs this is a simple image look at this have a amazing detail look at this uh, I love this amazing particle work you can see that there are separate groups dust storm is separate group and color filter is separate group so let's just play with some color options so close this group let me just close all of these groups so you could see easily if it is workable nope this one nope uh, this one uh, sepia is much nicer so I think it's enough uh, maybe detail is more nice or just close this for the time being we'll get back to it later so go to dust storm and we'll edit some particles so to check what is repeating in this image so i think there is nothing repeating this step uh, they are totally random like uh, this is uh, uh, our a little detail or black and blackness and this is our a little uh, depthness this layer is for uh, clouds maybe a little blackness you can see that it will show some blackness in this layer panel and these are big particles so let's just edit these big, big uh, particles press ctrl j copy these particles and maybe move it down so it could be more electrifying maybe 
I hope so. Uh, yes. Let's just move to the next small fragments. So, Control J, press V, and move these to. I think we should not move these because it is random is much better. So we'll Alt, Control and Z to step back. Let's just see what else in that. Uh, it's much beautiful like this one is also amazing but when you will turn on the turn this on it will give you a little more detail uh, like this one I think it's pretty much nice it looks more fabulous here and uh, that's it this is what we can create using these actions so this is a brush layer already named automatically so you don't need to rename this layer keep in mind that if you are having some errors don't be panic don't be worried about that there is no problem I am again saying that there is no problem with these actions reason is that I always run this action to you on uh, record these actions because I can st skip that step uh, even I can st skip that step if I'm uh, having some error and I could fix that error and then come back to you and show you that the result is awesome but I always run these actions to you so you could see that there is no problem with these actions these are running very fine there is problem always problem is that you always select a wrong image maybe you are selecting a lower uh, lower definition image maybe or if you are using a uh, small particle uh, so, sorry small brush or maybe you are s selecting a soft brush instead of using hard brush in some actions I always say that uh, there is no actions like similar uh, maybe some actions use soft brushes some actions use uh, hard brushes some actions use even no brushes okay so uh, it all's about according to your uh, actions so there is no problem with these actions select a high definition image RGB color should be uh, or uh, checked and the uh, image should be in 8 bit modes and 72 pixels per inch and moreover it should be 300 pixels or oh, sorry 300 dpi's what is about image size image size should be above 1000 pixels because it will create a detail effect so that's why it needs a high definition image so try to use a high definition image instead of using a lower uh, resolution image and uh, let me give you a little tip if you're using a lowercase image just increase the size of that image okay like crop by using crop tool you just make a bigger room as I do some in some tutorials and in that way image size will be increased and your original image will be as it is but try to use the uh, selection area to only that area which could be suitable if you come back to your original image uh, you can crop that and your uh, applied effect will not be affected so in this way you can maybe use these actions but uh, uh, try to use high definition images it will be amazing it will create a detailed effect like this one image is also detailed and you can see that having amazing fun with this image so this is what uh, I want to tell you that this this image is amazing and this is also amazing so I hope you like this video if you like this video please make sure to subscribe my channel and if you didn't visit my channel just go to visit my channel there are lots of amazing things on my channel and uh, recently we have crossed 1.5 1.50k views on our uh, which uh, it's, it was a smoke dispersion the dispersion smoke effect video so go and check that video amazing this it was my first video and it was pretty confusing some people's make some fun of my video because uh, I was confused and that was my first video on YouTube and now I am a little bit confident and maybe uh, I speak a little better English maybe but I am very very bad in English so because it is not our native language and moreover is my website is work on uh, on uh, coming to end just I need to work a little to finishing my website so we will meet in our next video you can free download these actions the link is given in the description bar you can free download these actions everything is free on this channel and you can just download these run these and have fun and try to speed this channel to your friends because I want to make this platform as big as possible and uh, because of you it could be done so just make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on these updates so you could get every update of my single video so we will meet in our next video never stop and keep learning